I think that that like the list making Mm -hmm. when we were in church and the constant never break the law of chastity, which is to never masturbate or have sex or look at porn or do anything sexual or even have sexual thoughts. Right. Like they would teach us like if you have sexual thoughts or you hear music that is sexual, then just turn it off and just start singing hymns in your head. Just start singing Jesus music in your head. You know, it's funny. Sorry, you, I don't want to keep, I won't keep referring back to this, but you've got to see the Book of Mormon because there's an <laughs> entire song called Turn It Off. And it's basically, and they say like a light switch, turn it off. Like if you ever have any like sexual feelings or if you ever have any guilt, basically any emotions, you just turn it off and they call it like a Mormon trick. And yeah. It's this whole like song and dance. And it's basically about like shutting off your emotions no, I re- and not dealing with your issues. And yeah. just like, it's, it's really clever. I remember my mom, or not my mom, my teacher one time, like, in class, they, like, turned off the light to, like, show us, like, how easy it is to just turn it off. Oh, my God. Okay, so, see, (laughs) I know nothing about Mormonism, so this, like, wow, so these songs make so much more sense now, and that's that's why I think either people won't go see it if they're super Mormon, or if they were Mormon and aren't anymore, they enjoy it so much better, because there's a lot in there that are, like, I think, inside jokes that, like, me as somebody who was raised an actual atheist like doesn't get. Yeah. So, okay. Sorry. All right. That's really cool. Yeah. You got to go see it. I need to go see it. It's fucking amazing. I have to. It's so good. I got to go with my, some of my Mormon friends. (laughs) Yeah. You guys will, if you guys are like, I got to go with Alina Lopez. Yeah. You got, Oh my God. You guys will love it. You really will. I think, I feel like Alina said she saw it, but I could be totally wrong. Maybe she did. Anyways, she might have. you could see it again. I would see it again. It's so good. Okay, <laughs> sorry. We're yeah. not going to talk about the Book of Mormon the whole time. <laughs> Go on. So you were raised in a Mormon household. Yes, and we would. Oh, they would always talk to us at church about how important the law of chastity was, mm. and then I would learn in school how um, important it was to stay abstinent, like just say no, mm-hmm. and. I mean, like, I always was curious, like, where, how does the penetration happen? Like, Mm -hmm. how does sex actually happen? What, like, what is this? What is that? No one would ever answer my questions. Mm -hmm. I remember there was this, like, ask box when I was in fourth grade. And I was like, I didn't want the teacher to know that I asked this question, but I asked my mom. I'd ask, like, everyone that I could think of asking, and no one would tell me how sex happened. So I remember writing with my left hand because I didn't want her, because I'm right-handed and I didn't want this man to know that it was me. (laughs) Oh my God. And I wrote, how does sex happen? The teacher takes it out of the box. She's like, ask your parents. And I was like, fuck, I'm literally never going to know. I'm never going to know how sex happens. And I was like, internet. (laughs) That, my friends, is a great example of why we need real sex education in our schools. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.